Ladies and gentlemen, Sidestrafe here with the highly anticipated release of Gas Station Simulator 2014. I'm going to kickstart that one day, mark my words. Ladies and gentlemen, Sidestrafe here with DayZ Standalone. This is, of course, an early access alpha and my first impressions of it. Before we begin, I'd like to talk a little bit about the game and the alpha phase of development in general. Now, in April of 2012, I discovered a mod called DayZ for the game Arma 2. I decided to make a first impressions video of that mod, and uh, that video now has well over 2 million views, and for me, that is a lot. It was instrumental in boosting the awareness of the mod, as well as the subscriber base of my channel. Many of you are probably here because of a lot of my DayZ videos. So, I really wanted to thank... Dean Rocket Hall for creating this mod which may have began as an experiment and I really want to thank game developers and modders everywhere no matter what they do they're out there because they're passionate about creating games and uh, that means a lot to me and I wouldn't be sitting here in front of a microphone every day creating videos guides content parodies being silly being serious reaching out to thousands of people every day whether it's live streaming or YouTube, this is a great career to have, and I wouldn't have it if it wasn't for video games. So again, special thanks to developers everywhere. But uh, in this case, DayZ is something that is near and dear to my heart, even as frustrating as it has been. Uh, it's something that I've always kept an eye on. I've always wanted it to succeed, and, and I'd like to support it and critique it to the best of my ability. Now, with that said, let's talk a little bit about Alpha. This is a title you are paying $30 for on Steam. However, it carries a heavy warning. There's a paragraph on the purchase page that says, look, if you're not willing to deal with a buggy, unstable build, don't buy it. There's a box that pops up when you launch a game with a big red button that says, I understand. It lets you know ahead of time that this is not something that is complete, okay? Please keep that in mind. Also, just because you bought Arma 2 to play a free modification, that does not mean that you're entitled to any form of discount. It's currently $30 uh, or the equivalent, depending on wherever you reside, and the price will go up over time. It will follow a Minecraft model. So, with that said, let us begin our first impressions of the Daisy Early Access Alpha. And so begins my quest for survival within the realm of Daisy. Considering my track record, it'll be a very short quest. But um, right off the bat, we can take a look at the game. I will be switching in and out of first and third person. Admiring the fact that uh, I can already see the animations are quite a bit better for your character. Just the unarmed run animations are a lot nicer. But, um, well, let's get to it. Exploring Neo Chernarus, I suppose. Uh, there appears to be some objects on the ground already here by this shack. And take Splitting Axe. I will take that Splitting Axe. I did launch the game earlier just to mess with my graphics settings, so I already put my flashlight in my uh, hotbar, if you're wondering why that was already there. I haven't been playing uh, for an extended period of time, I just like to mess around with controls and whatnot before I create videos, but uh, beyond that, everything else is new to me. Uh, this is our first backpack. We've got an axe on hand now, you can see it on the back there. And from what I'm told, or from what I've read, I have to drag and drop my battery into the flashlight and attach it like so. At that point, I then dragged it into this hotbar location there. So we should be good to go. On that tab is going to access your inventory. And if I want to wield my axe, I can hit 2. It's going to swing it. All right, so we're good there. Can hit two again, and that's gonna holster it. All right. So uh, now, if I also hit tab, 
I can click on that, opening the backpack and closing it. So the UI is, of course, ugly currently, but again, it is alpha, and everything is pretty much placeholder right now, so I would expect things to get uh, better with age. Anything else in here? Don't see anything. I think we're clear as far as what's on the ground. We want to get away from the coast because we know what happens on the coast. So we want to keep an eye out. Uh, the performance of the game is not amazing as well. It is alpha. It's not optimized. What do we got here? Take t-shirt beige. Alright, I'll take it. Ooh, a rotten banana. Now, I wonder, is this the kind of game where if you eat a rotten banana, it affects you? Logic states, don't eat anything labeled rotten. Maybe I can use it for bait. In real life, I would save it and use it for animal bait. To make create a trap of some sort and then... Uh, Use it to lure some sort of animals to it. Let's see what we got here. Canned spaghetti. I'll take that. Here's another backpack. But I already have one. So can I access this in any way? Green Taloon backpack, which I guess is empty. Uh, we've got our can there. We've got Rotten Banana. Which I'll put it in the backpack. And then I'll put this extra shirt there as well. Tear into rags. Alright, let's do that. So I've crafted rags. And I believe you also have jean pockets. So these are your jeans, the pockets within. The shirt does not have any pockets, so we're good to go there. Alright. Got to be careful because uh, we are near the coast. Anyone can spawn in. You can see right off the bat we've got a lot more enterable buildings. So that's nice. All of these doors are opening up. I'm gonna shut doors behind me. This one does not open. My mouth feels dry. There's a soda there. Which, I guess I'll go ahead and drink that soda. Mmm, tasty. Drinking it right through the, the can. You have drunk a Zluta Malanovka soda. Zluta Malanovka! Some of you might not be aware of Soviet strafe. This could be the perfect opportunity. Maybe I'll save it for later. Alright, let's see what we got in here. TV that's seen better days. Any books? Can I take books? No, I can't open that. Ah, baked beans. The staple of any true survival game. I guess I can't. Can I open this cabinet up? No. I don't think so. Well, alright. I think we've cleaned this place up. Is this... Nope, can't open that. Maybe in the future you'll be able to. It's the door. This cabinet does not seem to open up. Looks like a lot of these buildings are enterable, which is nice. Uh, vitamin bottle. Don't forget to take your vitamins, kids. 
I feel tired, apparently. I've been feeling tired since I've started this adventure. Cabinets that I can't open up. Would be nice if I could open them up later. Here's another backpack. Now, let me... F okay, so if I hit tab here, that gives me access to it. And there's just nothing there. Ooh, there's a lot of buildings that I could go through. Get some third pack, third person action here. Well, I have some food. Let's see, trying to play this in third person within the buildings is not exactly simple. That door doesn't open. Okay, so. Could spend a lot of time searching these buildings. And as tempting as it may be, my gut is telling me to, to work my way uh, to the mainland for safety reasons. Now, I've had something to drink, and I do have some food with me. That one doesn't open. Uh, what do we got here? I can take these shades, right? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I can beast mode now. I'm sure I'll get killed just for those glasses. Ooh, a beanie. Check me out. Already getting decked out. Probably helps keep you warm as well. Oh, can I interact with this? Or maybe that was just the door. Because I don't think I can... Could have been just the door. So things like that are still glitchy. Just the... Uh... Oh, it's... I feel like... Switch to walk mode. I feel run down. No, that's just the door opening. Yeah, I, I was trying to see if anything else could be opened up, like drawers and cabinets and whatnot, but I guess not yet, at least. So, the addition of clothing is pretty solid. You can imagine how it will come into effect when discussing weather conditions. Probably need jackets to stay warm and whatnot. Now again, I could continue searching these homes uh, or buildings, but uh, I'm really concerned with being around this area. Coast is such a dangerous place. But apparently I'm, I'm feeling pretty tired as well. So I need to sit down. To rest. I have been reading through a couple of... Uh, guides. And whatnot. People are, you know, trying to give out helpful tips in regards to the game. I do want to... Know a little bit about what I'm getting into... Uh, for the most part, a lot of things are the same as the mod, but uh, there are some additions that I need to get used to. Now, see, I've got fists, too. I've hit space. I can get into a fist fight if I want. But, uh... I'd rather have the axe at the ready. I like how that gets sheathed. Uh, we need our soda. 
got a, a hammer that we can grab as well. Anything else in here? Nope. No, I don't want to punch that. There could be things anywhere. You gotta really look around here. So I'll tell you right now, the fact that uh, there are so many enterable buildings, the game is, is already a million times better. That little detail changes so much. Now I wonder how these servers run at full capacity. I haven't jumped on uh, a 40 man. I think there was something like 15 people on this one. I just went for a, uh, a server with a great ping. That was my main concern. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. So, I don't know if we'll run into anybody just because it's uh, early in the morning. Can't go in. Okay, so this is empty up here. Uh, oh, this one I can enter. Is that. What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, we've got a map now. Wuthering Heights? Okay. Can I do anything with this? Damaged. Now, if I... Okay, so hitting M doesn't work. I just have to hit the number 6 because it's in that slot. Now this is... Map of Northwest Chernarus. Pristine condition. So it's only of the Northwest portion. Because you can see that it looks like it's, it's missing pieces. So you have to find maps by pieces perhaps? I don't know. Seems like it. Okay, so, well, in any case, we've got that there. I wonder if there's a way to... So this is what's in my backpack. I wonder how many hotbars you can have. And if there's another way to access the map without it being on a hotbar slot. I don't know. We'll find out later. Again, I'm trying to keep an eye out because you don't know uh, what could be going on. I haven't seen any walkers, infected, zombies, undead, whatever they are. Uh, should probably get used to calling them infected. So, I don't know when we'll run into one, or if we'll run into one. Now again, I'm, I'm coming into this not expecting much. I have no idea what we'll see. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure that uh, there's got to be some something. Well, floating boots. Take working boots. Now... If I take those boots, so I had sneakers originally. A durable leather boot, largely worn by industrial workers that consists, okay. Now, all terrain shoe with the, uh, 
See, now finding shoes and things, like, these are damaged. I'm... Does that work? Okay, that's in the... Okay. I'm not gonna... I've got good shoes. I'm not gonna worry about carrying boots right now. Um, I don't know if there's advantages or disadvantages to carrying uh, or having different types of footwear. Yeah, I'm sure that maybe there's different durability. I'm, I'm guessing that over time, the more you run and walk, maybe your shoes get worn out. I don't know. Oh, snap. We got a body. We got a body. Looks like somebody stripped this person. He had an axe. So if I hit tab, it doesn't give me a vicinity thing. He's got a helmet, though. A motorcycle helmet. Let's get in first person here. All right, let's see. Oh, snap. What is this? Charcoal tabs, shotgun rounds, apple. What is, what is this? Canned tuna. Motorbike helmet. Oh. Uh. I kind of want my arms to exist. Did I just... I think I just lost my arms. <laughs> I have no arms! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh man. Alpha is alpha. Um, okay, can we fix that? Uh. Oh, my arms are back. That was... Uh, what happens if I... All right, that, that worked. So I had to unequip my axe to wear the gloves. What happens if I equip the axe? All right, now we're good. But the axe is, is clipping through my shoulder. I'm assuming that that is a wound that uh, most people wouldn't like to have in a, a survival situation. All right, so um, I did just pick up a motorcycle helmet. Can I drag it onto my person like that? Yeah, I can. I'm going to wear that, because I would assume that that provides some sort of protection against uh, infected bites or something. Logic states. I'll keep the beanie. Hold on, let me... Is this an empty can now? Can I drag that out? No? Can I dump it? I can dump it, but I couldn't bring it back into my inventory. Oh well, whatever. I think that thing is missing stairs. Anyway, somebody killed that guy. Or something killed that guy, I don't know. Wait, was there something else out here? I thought I saw something else before. I'm getting all... Daisy paranoid, you know how it goes. What's that? Got some bandanas. I've already got a beanie. I don't want any of that. There's just too much to look at. I mean, before with Daisy, it was kind of like, all right, I know which buildings I can't go into, so I'm just going to keep running around. But now you can explore so much more. And this is a typical building that had worked in the past, but there's so many more areas to explore that you feel like you have to because you might miss something. You know, we've got a baseball bat there. I'm going to go ahead and get into first person because, see, I don't like how the axe floats in front of my face when I'm running, though. That doesn't help me very much. Uh, a respirator. I'll take that, but I think I'm running out of space in my backpack here. Uh, so, now, apparently, uh, inhaling harmful dusts, fumes, vapors, or gases... Uh, which, is, which is, of course, helpful for those, you know, consuming beans around you. So you definitely need the respirator. So I've got the helmet and the respirator on, apparently. Interesting. Alright, so there's that. I want to sheath the axe so it's not in my face, but then again, I want to be ready. I suppose I can pull it out in time to dispatch someone or something. What do we got here? Some more jeans? I'm good on jeans. 
the heck is that? Another beanie. Oh, no. Zimyovka cap. Well, looks like about it for this building. Might be a few other rooms to check out, but uh, I think I had seen a shop that we might be able to head into. I think I'm only lucky because this is a uh, low pop server. There was, like I said, there were only about 15 or so people in here. There's a wrench. Um, maybe you could use it to fix things. I don't know. I've got a hammer. I've got a wrench. Just all kinds of different items now. This looks like some sort of coffee shop or something. There's some upstairs, but the building I'm really interested in was over here. Looks like it's been picked clean, if there was anything in here to begin with. <laughs> Crunching crisps! Part of a balanced breakfast. The crowbar, I'll keep the axe. Well, apparently I feel run down. I'm going to head out of this town for now. Oh, I've got crunching crisps in my hand. <laughs> Look at me. I'm such a mess. I've got a motorcycle helmet, a blue backpack, gloves, and a box of cereal in my hands. Ain't nobody going to take my crunching crisps. Can't get enough of my crunching crisps. This episode of Daisy with Side Strafe brought to you in part by Crunching Crisps. Yeah, I know I'm tired. I think running around in this game has uh, more adverse effects. So I've got <laughs> crunching crisps in my hands. Um, can I can I not have them in my hands? See, this box is too big to go in my backpack. Uh, it's badly damaged. I can eat it though. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump the beanie. What is this? Bandana. Just tear it into rags. Can I stack more rags? Combine rags. Okay, so I've, that's, I guess, AKA stack. Now, what is this? Can I combine canned tuna? No. Uh, I'm going to keep the wrench, I think, because if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Oh, so I, I can't fit. How big is this box of crunching crisps? I probably shouldn't stand around. How did you die? I was, I was, I was trying to figure out crunching crisps. Oh, well. Now, uh, call me crazy, but uh, I don't see any food or health indicators uh, within the UI. I just see the text at the bottom that says things like, I feel thirsty, and so on and so forth. Um, is that what the... I feel like taking a nap. 
Is there something that I'm missing in regards to the changes of this game? Are we getting rid of UI elements? Is it uh, more about reading the text at the bottom of the screen there? And if I feel like taking a nap, you know, how am I supposed to take a nap? Can I actually sleep in this game? I love the ambient sounds. Hmm. Part of me wonders if there's, uh... I mean, obviously I can go prone. Does going prone relax me? Is this me taking a nap? Or is there an actual sleep function? feel thirsty, apparently. But how thirsty, you know? Without some sort of meter, you know, what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to drink when you feel thirsty? How long can you go? Um, I mean, I just had an entire can of some sort of soda. It wasn't that long ago, so am I going to be thirsty already, you know? I guess things like that they can work on over time. You know, and, and, and there's always the thing when you're playing an alpha or a beta, what's working, what's not? Am I really thirsty? I don't know. Is it broken? Look, nobody's nobody's going to want to tackle me when I've got this box of Crunch and Crisps. They're going to see and they're like, that guy's leet. Dude, he's got Crunch and Crisps. What? It's the rarest item in the game. Well, still haven't seen an infected. Which is strange, considering I was in a... urban area. Well, no weapons here. Oh, don't fall off the ladder. We have no idea how this game handles falling. Hopefully that's something that they'll work on. Yeah, nothing up here. No rifles. Um, I may have read something in the forums about firearms being fairly difficult to come across, which is fine. They should be, I suppose. You don't want to be tripping over guns. Hello, I bring crunching crisps. All right, uh, nothing in here, it would seem. Tell me there's kilts in this game. There better be kilts. It's like I almost thought it was like a. a, a no, I don't want, I want, oh man, I just ate my crunching crisps. That should last longer, though. You have eaten some. Is there more? I hope I didn't eat them all. I was saving that special occasion. All right, well, I was probably hungry anyway, so that's fine. Need that uh, high-fiber diet. Well, I can't say that I necessarily want to run into an infected. I need a drink. All right, let's see what we can do here. What do we got? Um, everything else is beans. Zluta. Classic. You like Zluta? 
I have Zluta and Crunching Crisps. It sounded like Count Chocula there. Let's, uh, I'm thinking hit that building. Used to have some good stuff in it in the uh, in the mod at least. I don't know about this game, but I think that's going to be our next objective. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately I haven't been able to show you any infected, although since this game is uh, out on Steam, I'm sure perhaps you've run into some on your own. I do hear that they are kind of glitchy anyway, so I don't know uh, how much fun we'd have with them. I'm sure I would just get eaten up pretty quickly. So I suppose it's a good day, really, logically speaking, if you haven't run into uh, some sort of undead being. Uh, but I am kind of curious to see how they move and interact with you and the environment. But, um, you know, first impressions of an extremely glitchy, buggy, incomplete alpha of a product... Actually, not that bad. I see some things being remedied. You know, the uh, the UI, while it's currently ugly because it's, you know, an incomplete alpha, it, it works. I like the drag and drop ability. Um, it's just simple, easy to use. I like the new player animations. I like the addition of all the clothing and gear. Uh, you know, they could, of course, work on some of uh, the axe holding animations and whatnot, how they clip through the body, but again, it's really early. So that's going to be it, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today and taking a look at uh, Daisy Standalone. I will continue to follow it and create a few more videos uh, in case you're not ready to buy it. You don't want to throw some cash at something that's incomplete. Uh, you can live through me for a time until you decide to pick it up for yourself. But, uh, you know, just please remember that if you do purchase it, go in with an open mind, don't have any expectations, and be sure to report bugs and give uh, honest and uh, quality feedback, you know. Be mature about it, and let's make this the best survival game, uh, you know. They've got a small team working on this, and they need our help. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for joining me. I will definitely see you on the next one.